Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in and uh, as always if it's the first time watching our channel or you're a regular viewer don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So today I'm going to have a quick look at the, the Hawk Endurance ED 8x32 and the Hawk Frontier HDX 8x32 with the EDX actually slightly longer body. And um, I'm not going to go into detail, just highlight a couple of things and it's something that a lot of people don't realise. And oh, also, by the way, if, if you want to support our channel, both these binoculars are available to purchase from us in the link in the description below. Better still, come along to see us at our optics weekends. And it was nice to see another of our subscribers pop along uh, this uh, last weekend. I hope you like your binoculars and good to hear um, having a chat with one of our viewers actually uh, on the phone the other day. So anyway, all the plug into one side. You have the Hawk Endurance ED, as, a, as it says on the tin, ED glass. The Hawk Frontier HDX, not ED glass. Yet the HDX, around about £50 more than the Endurance ED, or, or thereabouts. And there's a, there is, well, I, I shan't go into every reason, because that will make it into a, quite a long versus one versus the other video, but uh, but, but you know, just to name a couple of things, you get a much better solid construction with the HDX, slightly better handling, and it's also resistant to much, much more extreme temperatures. But we're not here to talk about that. So what we have is ED glass with BAK4 silver coated prisms, non-ED glass with dielectric coated prisms. It's something I've often highlighted here on my videos and, and, and also I explain it when customers come along to our optics weekends and by all means you're, you're welcome to pop along and, and see me. And um, never underestimate, underestimate the power of dielectric coated prisms. So with the ED glass, now I've, I've just been testing these two sets out and um, I was looking at the usual lamp posts and what have you chimney tops and there is noticeably more chromatic aberration with the HDX than the ED Endurance and it's especially with that red and green colour fringing that you get just off centre you know it is vastly reduced with the Endurance that's not saying there's a lot of colour fringing with these you know, but it's vastly reduced with the ED glass but on the flip side these have the all important dielectric coated prisms and uh, sorry if I'm butchering that pronunciation that's all how I've always said it um, so I was looking at the same objects so yes there was less chromatic aberration through these but the image through these other than it being a wider field of view it was much brighter and uh, also looking into the shadows you could pick out a bit more detail and that's not and so that that is where good quality dielectric dielectric coated prisms can actually give a better image than ED glass with regards brightness. Yes there is less chromatic aberration with the ED but you get a brighter image with dielectric coated prisms even better when you get the EDX to go that, that next level. And often in my videos I've mentioned that a set of binoculars where you'll see some chromatic aberration but a lot of customers may come along and say, but I can't see any. And that's why you really need to try these sets out first. And just to use an example, a customer at our last, last optics weekend, he, he came along and he tried a number of sets of binoculars, uh, in, including these HDX 832s, the HDX 842s, and, um, and, and the Endurance CDs. And, and also a couple from uh, another brand, I, I'll, I'll not say which ones and upset anyone, but the two, even though the HDX binoculars, and he, he actually went for the 42mm mil version in the end, when I, when I did mention to him that yes, you will see a little bit more colour fringing with these, and he said, but I can't see any. Now that's not saying that he is wrong and I am right, it's to a lot of people that is not important you you want a bright clear sharp image that high quality dielectric coated prisms give 
and you're so impressed with that you, you don't notice the chromatic aberration it's really um, to a lot of people not that important yes you, you're, you're seasoned observers and believe me I have a, a lot that come to see me that I'm, I'm sure know a lot about more about binoculars than I do and they'll look through them and, and they'll spot something that I can't see and again that's not saying I'm wrong they're right or vice versa it's everybody's different we, we you know we all see different things when we look through binoculars which is why I should always always if you can and hopefully at our optics weekends pop along and try a set and he ended up this customer ended up going for the HGX uh, 1042s in the end even though he'd looked through two other binoculars with ED glass they were put to one side and the two HDX models were, down, were the final two choice and only then did he say did he ask me the question which one do you think I prefer and this is what I like to do when I, it's our optics weekends it, with every set he, he, he walked away from me to have a look through them but I didn't follow him looking over his shoulder you don't get that with me and he, he came back and I was leaving him to it and it was only right at the end where he asked for my opinion. If he didn't ask for my opinion, I would not have advised one or the other. But he did, and I said, but, well, basically the 32mm 8x32 gives you the wider view, but wider view for moving objects, and the 10x42 um, obviously gives a little bit more reach. So, and he was very impressed with, with the HX, even though they had no ED glass. And I've mentioned it um, a time or two, that you will only see chromatic aberration, or well, most people can. Um, you'll only see it in high contrast subjects. You know, with the other ninety percent of um, targets, you won't really notice it that much. So, summing up, silver coated prisms like these, you, you'll get probably up to eighty eight, eighty nine percent um, light transmission. Uh, it's easy to say that, not a long word, isn't it? Light transmission. And um, the dielectric coated prisms allow around about 97 to even 99% light transmission. And that's why dielectric coated prisms, if ever you see a set and they're not ED glass, don't be put off. Uh, have a look through them. So that's, um, well, it was, it was supposed to be just a couple of minute quick video, but I ended up plugging myself and uh, plugging the business and uh, a little bit about how I how I work at the weekends but uh, you're uh, by all means uh, you're welcome to pop along and have an after with me and if there's anything you like then uh, it's a great place to try before you buy so again thank you very much for watching and please check out the links in the description below